Cooper Raj Football Club facing Sporting Club de Goa in a Group B clash, which is going to start in a few minutes. As we're going to talk about it, because both teams coming off a loss again in a must win situation for both the teams. And the highlights will show you what an important role Ozan played in Sporting Club's victory today against Kupuraj. In what was a goalless first half, it was a half where Ozan Silva dominated with his saves. One save after another came his way and he kept putting Sporting Club de Goa in the game. There was that opportunity and the goal, the only way that looked like Ozan Silva would have got beaten. Ganapati getting on the score sheet, a little lucky on that but gets it eventually for all the hard work that they did in the first half, they deserved that. But then Marcus Mascarenas with a perfect pinpoint ball for Lloyd Cardozo who made no mistake to put it into the back of the net. Soon after that, Lloyd Cardozo would turn on the style and lay down a platter for Rohit Totad. And Rohit Totad made no mistake of finishing it past Judson. Then another fantastic save from Ozin Silva. It kept coming from Ozin. As Sporting Club de Goa gained confidence they created some opportunities but couldn't quite finish off the game Kupuraj with their own opportunities as well and with the third goal was Lloyd Cardozo finishing it off with a genius touch into the goal past Chutson Just when he thought Kupuraj was done, but then J. Joe Austin with a thunderous shot through the legs of Ozan Silva. And it was game on in the last minute or so as J. Joe made it three goals to two. And that Kupuraj with 21 shots, 12 shots on target, 17 and 9 on target for Sporting Club de Goa. Five corners to two. For Sporting Club de Goa, eight fouls to none conceded by Sporting Club and one yellow card to Kupuraj. And we come to the end of the first match of Group B where Sporting Club de Goa keep their hopes alive of qualifying for the semi-finals with a three goals to two victory over Kupuraj Football Club.